Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Black Series action figure review. This time we're looking at the uh, part of the second wave. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of the waves of these. Uh, the vintage 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi Black Series. You know, it's a long title. Uh, Rebel Commando. I just picked a couple of these up, so... Be excited to crack into these two. I've uh, put off grabbing them the last... Last probably few weeks, yet yeah, is the second wave. Bib Fortuna, the Emperor, Pablo, Stormtrooper, and Chewbacca. Um, pretty sure I've reviewed all of these at different stages of release uh, on my channel. Pablo being probably the most recent, and Chewbacca, which I only did like maybe two weeks ago. Stormtrooper, Emperor, and Bib Fortuna, I reckon I've done in the past, is they're um, simply repacks. So yeah, this one is uh, definitely been long awaited. Some Rebel Commandos, uh, much like the Hoth Trooper that came out for Empire Strikes Back. Um, we do have the swap out face, which is a nice feature. Um, I already have one opened here, but we're going to open this one on screen as well, because I uh, do want to sort of show two different variations. Um, this is what I'll do. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just rip that straight out. <laughs> Get rid of all the rubbish. So there's a separate tray there. Like I said, I already have opened one of these, so I know exactly where everything is and what I'm doing with it. So yeah, the bottom tray comes with a backpack, assault rifle. I can never remember the names of the rebel weapons. And then in this one, we get the trooper and the swap out base. So straight out of the packaging, we've got this guy. He's looking pretty good, nice solid. Solid looking figure. So it's definitely a, a good base figure for, you know, future rebels. Given they've sort of got, you know, it's, it's pretty sort of standard sort of trousers. You know, they've been painted actually really well with the, with the sort of camouflage. It looks, looks pretty good to me. This sort of jacket. Which is sort of, which is you know loosely fit but it's got the sleeves on molded into the shoulders you can't do a lot about that so i'd leave the jacket on um the sort of utility belt that has sort of strapped over his shoulder there that's you can swap that out for the backpack and that's what i have done with this guy so you just get those two alternate looks already haven't swapped the faces yet it was actually a, it's actually quite a struggle, but we'll get a look at the accessories. And here's the, uh, here's the backpack. And it's actually nicely detailed. I really like the look of this thing. And sort of the buckles, the clip on the top there. You know, a little bit of paint detail for the silver. This sort of tube is its own sort of piece, which is nice. Now it's quite easy to get on the figure too. You just got to sort of stretch the arms back. You don't even really have to do that, maybe just one. Just play around with that articulation to get that over the over the shoulder. And boom, there you go. Backpack is on. Obviously it's gonna fit a little bit better if you take that sort of other piece off. But even then just be able to slide that down the back there. I mean I probably could have put it on that way as well. But yeah, it's a nice piece. Nice, nice addition. I like having extra accessories like this for, you know, interchanging with different figures. I think it looks good. In terms of the blasters. We've seen this one before. I'm pretty sure it was with the uh, Hoth Rebel Soldier as well. It's a nice sculpt. Not much, not much paint detail. This sort of standard Rebel Blaster Pistol. Which again, like... Never remember the names of, the, of some, some of these weapons these days. It's just really hard to keep up with everything. But they look good. We'll get a look at the, uh, the sort of bandolier off the figure. Again, some nice sort of, just nice little details. Painted nicely. That's, you know, that's quite a slip over the shoulder. Nice and easily. So we'll get a look at the head sculpt. It's pretty impressive. Um, it was actually really difficult to get the face off. Um, so if it looks like it's sticking out a little bit, it's because it is. I just wanted to make it a little bit easier for the 
for the video to do the swap because this guy is going to get the swap out face. So here we've got the other one. It's a nice look. It's not Captain Rex. Sorry, folks. <laughs> But yeah, nice. It's nicely done. I love the helmet. And sort of, you can sort of see the sort of silver bumps and stuff around the around the helmet where the green paint has been sort of chipped off and weathered and worn. But um, yeah, this was a tight, tight swap before. I had to really get my fingernail. Luckily, I do have them at the moment um, to get underneath. So as you can see, it's just a. Uh, you know, simple sort of square peg in. And we'll put this one on. Push that in, there we go. And he's looking pretty good too. So just by doing that, you know, you can uh, get your, your sort of Han or your, your Luke and take the trench coats off of the ponchos and you could add this to add them to your figures if you were to get a couple more of these and swap them out unfortunately i wish hasbro had sort of gone with a little bit more thought and included a way to sort of swap between these and these faces and the and the hoth variants um unfortunately yeah they don't they don't fit properly they're just they're just a little bit different excuse the phone call i'll get back to that in a moment so But yeah, indoor Rebel Commando. These guys are looking fantastic. Looking forward to setting these up with the uh, with the Rebel crew. We'd love to see them again. We'll see some more variations, you know, in terms of faces, skin tones, all of that, just to sort of mix it up a little bit. Even some aliens would be sweet. I know there weren't any on screen in Return of the Jedi. If there were, I missed them. But um. You know, in terms of like playing through Battlefront with Rodians and all that sort of stuff, that would be really cool to be able to do like a swap out. So I'll give him the smaller blaster. Again, just to sort of differentiate the two. So these guys are going to look good out with some photographs. So track down Han and Luke and Leia. Some Ewoks. They're going to look good together. Anyway, folks, love to hear your thoughts. Please send it in the comments below. And we'll see you again for another review very, very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.